everyone, it's Kieran from Filmstorm Studios bringing you another update for our Uncharted cover system uh, movement anim set. Um, and what we're going to look at today is my new um, cover implementations. And as you can see, I've um, got all of these um, different shapes around and we're not really using anything special. You don't even need to have these um, in certain layers. So that means you can just place down objects at your free will while you're doing your game development. And you see we've also got um, tall um, objects, we've got um, short, little short objects here. And we've also got um, some more of a square object. So let's um, jump into it. And I can give you a quick overview of what's happening. So at the moment you can see this little yellow line appearing. And this is what's going to detect the actual cover. But you'll notice once it actually it goes into the cover, um, nothing will actually activate until we press um, the B button on the controller, which is normally the, um, the, the go into cover. And I'm pressing B right now, but you can see it's also acting as a roll. And this is what happens in Uncharted. So you can either, you can roll around, but then once you approach cover and you press B, um, you'll go into cover. So let's go up to cover and press B. And you'll notice we're in cover now, and we've got moving left to right, and he actually stops at the end and um, pops out and that will happen dynamically on every object and when we're in cover you can actually push forward and A and that will actually make him um, vault over cover and that's also dynamic so you can see how this one's a bit thicker so we go into cover press forward and he'll actually stand up on top so he didn't make it all the way over in that animation. So instead of just kind of clipping through the, the object, he'll, he'll stay on top of it. So that's that object. And now we've also got the high cover system. So basically there's an invisible um, ray cast. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, jump out of here quickly. And go to our player. Um, we've got the high cover detector. And basically this shoots a ray cast, so let me just get out of maximize and press play. And we'll move over here. So basically what happens is this um, this invisible ray cast is shooting lines. So when I press the go into cover button, he will say, oh, is this ray cast hitting this ball? Um, and if it is, that means we'll go into high cover. And since these objects, since these objects are lower than um, that ray cast, he'll go into low cover. So that's how the high and low cover systems activate. And for the popping um, out left and right, I have the pop out left. So once this ray cast, so let me just bring the player over here and let me, oop, and yep, yeah, we've also got the jumping um, sorted out. So you can press B, go in. And then how this popping out system works, pull out. So basically, this raycast, I'll have to put them back in. All right. So this raycast is saying, okay, it's we're not hitting anything, so that means we'll stop the character moving, and we'll allow the the pop out animation to play. So uh, we'll move him to the other side, and this up oh, too much, and this is also vice versa. So this the left side's in, but we've also got the right cover pop out. And you can see the right cover pop out is exposed. So he'll stop and he'll pop out. And the same goes for left, or the high left and the, the high right. So let's jump out and we'll just maximize this again. And we'll jump into the high cover. So we'll move over here. And as you can see, we've got the high cover moving left and right. And you push forward. Oh, sorry, you push right and he'll he'll pop out. And we push forward in here and he'll actually come out of cover. So that's pretty cool. And yes, the left the left also works. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's slightly like a tiny bit buggy. I just have to make him um fully um re re reposition to the wall. So as he's as he's moving across the wall, he needs to um, stay at that, that exact distance because sometimes he, he gets a little bit wayward. But that seems to be only be on the high cover, so that probably just needs a little bit of adjusting. And we've also finished off implementing the, the jump system. 
but um, I need to implement a falling animation from um, idle because you can see he kind of just um, he just kind of slides down. Oh, but you wouldn't believe how much work it took to actually get the um, the cover system working the way I wanted it to, especially so you can you can move between everything um, really fluidly. Um, so probably the next uh, implementations for the cover system would be the actual shooting mechanic. So if you um, hold down right trigger, he'll blind fire over the um, over the cover, and also um, you can hold left trigger in um, when you're at the corners, and he'll detect that you're at the corner and start shooting out. And you can actually aim um, out of the corner and stuff. So that'd be brilliant. And we can also um, change the camera angle to bring it in to actually make it a bit easier to to focus on where you're shooting because right now it's a bit you don't know where you're going. So that would be pretty exciting. And um, we'll probably end up, because the system that, that's being made is actually quite um, simple, so I should be able to hook that into an AI um, system. So then I can kind of give the enemies waypoints to say, oh, okay, maybe, maybe this spot right here, um, come. So I can say, run to this point and then enter cover. And then their systems will work the same way by, um, by popping. Uh, in and out like this and taking cover and that way when they get hit they take damage and then they um, they go down so that will be coming up and this system probably took me over probably since I put up the first Uncharted video to finish uh, it took longer than I expected but um, once I get all the little kinks and everything worked out I'll try and um, do a tutorial to kind of explain um, how everything kind of links together and we'll go through each node of the, the playmaker and I'll explain how everything's linked and how everything works together. But um, that's pretty much it for right now. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the future updates.